your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Fretter with your KPVM News 25 Sports Report. I will be updating you on your favorite preseason and in-season teams here in Las Vegas. All this and more in today's Sports Report. The Las Vegas Raiders hired the first black female president in NFL history last Thursday. Sandra Douglas Morgan joined the Raiders team after working as the chairwoman and exclusive director of the Nevada Gaming Control Board. In an interview, Sandra said, I was raised in Las Vegas and have truly witnessed this city ascend to one of the sports capitals of the world, visited by millions across the globe, and it is an honor of a lifetime to serve as the president of this organization. The Raiders organization has actually brought $2.29 billion in economic impact of visitors for events in Allegiant Stadium. And the estimated impact of the Super Bowl in 2024 is estimated to be in the billions as well. We have so much more to do, and I'm excited to be at the helm of that growth and look forward to ushering in the new chapter for the Raiders. Max Crosby and Denzel Perryman appeared at a Raiders skills camp for the Las Vegas youth. This event took place on Monday, July 11th at the Intermountain Healthcare Performance Center. Children from several different local organizations had the chance to get autographs and learn drills from a couple of their favorite Las Vegas Raiders. Max Crosby said, it was an absolute blast and giving back to the kids is everything. The Vegas Golden Knights made six selections as part of the 2022 NHL entry draft in Montreal, Quebec. Their second round pick is forward Matthias Sapovalov, who is 18. Their third round pick is forward Jordan Gustafsson, who is 18. Their fourth round pick is Cameron Whitehead, who is 19 and a goaltender. Their fifth round pick is forward Patrick Way, who is 20. Their sixth round pick is forward Ben Hemmerling, who is 18. Their seventh round pick is defenseman Abram Wiebe, who is 18. The Vegas Golden Knights have also extended qualifying offers to the following six players. Nicholas Haig, Keegan Colasar, Jake LeCision, Braden Patchell, Jonas Ron Jurg, and Nicholas Roy. The Aces Kelsey Plum was named the 2022 WNBA All-Star Game MVP. Plum played her first career WNBA All-Star Game on Sunday where she had a record-breaking performance. Plum tied the All-Star Game scoring record with 30 points. This is the highest scoring All-Star Game debut in league history. Kelsey Plum led Team Wilson to 134 to 112 win over Team Stewart. The Las Vegas Aces won their game on Tuesday against the New York Liberty with a score of 107 to 101. The Las Vegas Aviators won four out of the six games against the Oklahoma City Dodgers in last week's series. The Las Vegas Aviators won on Tuesday night but lost on Wednesday night against the Salt Lake Bees. There are four games left in this home series at the Las Vegas Ballpark. For your KPVM News 25 Sports Report, I'm Katie Fredder.